Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do an updated version of a video I did when I first started making YouTube videos. It was like the one of the uh, the top three I think that's what it was. And it is uh, how to do a crackle finish on a tumbler. Um, in that video, and I'll make sure I'll leave a link to the video so you can go check it out if you want to. Uh, the main thing in that video that I used was glue. Regular glue and craft paint. Now in that video I used white, but you can use any color you want. In this one, I'm showing crackle medium. Now, I'm gonna what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna do a test piece to see which one, you know, how each one works and figure, and then you can decide which one you like better. Um, so let's get to it. <music> Okay, so I have this little wooden box here. I was going to do something with it, but my dog chewed on it. So this is going to be our test piece. Um, I have some Elmer's glue. I have my crackle medium. I have a base coat. We're going to do a black base. This is just regular craft paint. And then I have two different contrasting colors. Um, turquoise. And this one is baby pink. I wanted to be able to have the colors really show up. So first things first, we need to lay down our base coat. Now, on the crackle medium, it says you need uh, your base coat needs to dry for one hour. So we're gonna, so I'll put the base coat on, I'll let it dry one hour, and then one side will be the glue, and then the one side will be the crackle medium. Or I'm actually gonna do two different sides, and, and I'll tell you why. Normally I would do them side by side. That's my plan. However, with the glue and the paint. You put, once you do your base coat, then you do a layer, you know, you let it dry, you do a layer of glue, you wait for a little bit, and then you put your paint layer right over the top of it while that glue is still mostly wet. Now, with the crackle medium, um, I put a base coat down, let it dry for an hour, then you put your, your medium down, let it dry for an hour, then you put your base coat on. So, while this method does take longer, we're gonna see which results are better. So, let's get to the base coat. We're doing two sides here. Um, I'm actually, just to be on the safe side here, so we know which one's which, I'm gonna put a little X. Actually, I'm gonna to have to use a pin. I'm gonna put a little X on here of the side that has, or I'm gonna put glue. So we're gonna put a G on one, a G, on one side and this one will be the M for the medium so that way we know which one's which so but right now so G M right now base coat we don't need those scissors you couldn't see it anyway I know this will not take an hour to dry since the box is just raw wood but we're going to follow the directions so we get the best the best product i know we none of us really want to ever follow directions but those directions are there for a reason nice coverage off one coat Okay, now this has got pretty good coverage. I don't really see any naked spots. Make sure I even it all out. And we will be back here in one hour to see where we're at. Okay, so it's been an hour, paint's fully dry. And we're gonna do the uh, glue one first. This is the glue. Now, I do have a fan blowing and it is blowing right here and that you will need a fan when it comes to the glue. I'm just going to put some on there, take my brush and just apply an even layer. Now this is not real thick, I'm going to probably have to add more, um, but I don't want to go too thick. So I'm going to do a little bit more, okay maybe a lot of it. But 
you'll be able to get the feel for it. You want it to be semi-transparent, but not so thin where it just makes like a thin glaze. You want it to almost look like um, a donut, a glazed donut. Just a little, I mean, slightly opaque. Okay. I don't know if you can tell that. Now, now your paint. Make sure it's good and shook up. I haven't opened this in a while. And you can tell. So you want to put that on there. Oh, okay. Well, that's lovely. Okay, yeah. Now you don't want to mix it. You just want to slightly glaze over the top. Ignore the chunks of paint that you can clearly see. I've been a, a while since I've used this. Okay. Again, I want to turn this light off so you can see it better. There you go. Well, it's not much better, but there. So now that we have the fan on here, I'm not going to do the medium on this side yet because I want this to dry first, but um, we're going to put this in front of a fan or a fan in front of it and we'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so I have this leaned over and I have this little bitty fan right here blown directly on it. It doesn't need to be a real powerful fan, just enough to where airflow gets to it, and that's what helps kind of dry it a little bit faster. While this is drying, I flipped it over, and I am going to go ahead and apply the crackle medium on top, since it does need to take an hour to dry. Let me open this, since I did not do that before. And we will do this. Let's see if it has a smell, too. I am curious. Should have done this before. I actually really, it smells like a clear, it smells like regular Elmer's glue, it's just clear. So that's kind of interesting, kind of feels like it too, because I got some on my thumb. Okay, so I'm going to apply that on there. I'm going to take my handy dandy brush, and I'm going to have to hold it like this. So. It doesn't say how thick or how thin to make it, so I'm just going to, I'm going to wing it. Oh, well, I just streaked that paint across there. This is what I was trying not to do. That's okay. It's fine. But yeah, we got that layer down. Oh, Jesus. I should just stop. Okay, well, we're just going to ignore that. So, yeah, we're going to let this dry, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Now, um, now I just need to apply the uh, contrasting color on the crackle medium on this one. I'm going to get a different brush. These are the best things for painting. Let's see if I can not get paint everywhere. Oh, that works. Okay, so hold it here. Okay. Full coverage. Now I'm going to put um, well, I'm just going to let this dry. So, as soon as this dry, I actually I think I'm going to let it dry, everything dry overnight, and I will show you tomorrow. Okay, it is. So, it is the next day after I finished everything, and we're going to show you. So, let me move the camera down. Okay, this side is the crackle medium. 
um, and it did a really good job. Now, I, I, I'm sure if I would have put the crackle medium, medium a little bit thicker, then my cracks would have been a little bit bigger, but it definitely gives the weathered look, so that's pretty cool. This is the glue method. Um, while still good, and again, if I would have put a thicker layer of glue, then it, the cracks would have been better or bigger. Um, it didn't have quite the same effect as the medium, as you can tell. This looks a little more, um, I'm, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, maybe authentic. Like it really does look like weathered paint. Where this one, you can see the lines and stuff like this. Now, that's not to say that um, you're going to get these results every single time on when it comes to the glue because I've gotten tremendous results using the glue method. So ultimately it's up to you what you like to use better. Sometimes it may just be what you have on hand. You need to use what you want to use and decide for yourself. Me personally, I kind of like the crackle medium better, but you know, I'm not, that's not to say that I'm not going to use the glue method if that's the only thing I have on hand. So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, remember uh, to subscribe, like, comment, share, um, do all that fun stuff. Uh, follow me on my other social media accounts as well. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. So um, I hope I see you there. We'll see you next time. Bye.